Yeah, that's no good, is it? <laughs> Shall I start the video off with some sharpened with a pencil and uh Got no blade. Got no blade, bro. Right, come on then, Matt. Right. So we're back over in hail today. The new hold on. Right, so we're back over in hail today. We've got the two big arches literally on the way to get off the van. The Brit is gonna start getting them in on the front and the back, that'll be the arches complete. I'm literally started cutting up the wall plates, all the block works to height. We're gonna start getting the wall plates on, all fit and install. We've got some 12x2, which is gonna have a 12x4 um, ridge with scarf joints, all connecting them all together to, to fit and make, which I'm gonna start doing as well. I'm gonna try and get the ridge in today, all the wall plates on, and I'm also gonna try and get the first couple of common, common rafters in, so the brickies have, have a pattern um, to do the cut up to. <laughs> Have you seen the size of you compared to everyone else? Thank you, he's not a bad. I'm not him up again. I think he lifted me with Oh, that's yes, the reason I lift from there to there. Go on, Wayne. What are you doing here? What's this? What are we looking at? Yeah, we're just setting out the template for the bullseye window. Um, just cutting out some plywood. And if you do a few little lats in between just to form the, it's basically the, the, the bottom half of the circle. So you can, you've can got a precast bullseye window over there, which is going to be craned in uh, tomorrow. Just going to get that set up today. All cuts in. Nice. Yeah. 
Ja, det er godt. Just set it, we've got a bullseye window going there, uh, which is down below. And what we're doing now is we're just setting up a bit of a uh, bull, like an arch former, a bullseye former, so we can build the brickwork in to the former. And then what we can do then is once it's built into the former, we, we, we're going to crane our bullseye on and drop it straight into place, which makes life easier and it'll hold itself. So we've pretty much set a template up now. They're going to crack on brick doing the brickwork, and then I'm just literally at the moment just going around. I've just got another scarf joint. On the first ridge, I've got another ridge which has got a scarf joint on it. I'm just cutting that up now. I've just set up a bit of a template spar so they know they can they know what they're bricking to the underside. They've got the rafters for all, all, all. and uh, yeah, we've got a bit of like a lot of bits and bobs at the moment just to fixing wall plate straps on and that. And then hopefully tomorrow, once everything's in place, ridges are craned on and stuff like that, and it's bang straight into it. <laughs> Good side, mate. You know what I mean? Make sure you I always do. <laughs> oh, even so do. He, he, puts, he puts you on the spot. I'm sick. You know what he does? I've, I've, I've seen a couple of it. He likes smudges our face and keeps writing. Well, so do you know what he, he does? He, he circles really. people when they're looking look, look, look if you that Ryan's not here right now. Oh, all right. Yeah, hey, we've got a chance to get <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long. Just started. <laughs> did you get that, Martin? Lifted up to the left. I know, fuck it. Go on, Lee. Go on, Lee. Actually doing a bit for once. Uh, yeah. Yeah, normally just pick, just pretend I'm picking them up. Three, <laughs> two, one. Yeah. 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 Wayne has just stood there. Wayne has just stood there. Come on, Wayne. Look at it. Look at it. It's all Lee this, all Lee. Go on Lee! Go on Lee! Don't shoot my responsibilities if it's any bigger grade than that then. I like to pretend. But I have that look. Smash it then Lee, smash it look. Lee's not even here now. Look at this. setting out for a bit of a frame now. Oh, it's hot today. I can't even call it concentrate. Basically, I've got quite a long timber ridge to put on and it's quite high. So, instead of just putting on the usual, putting a piece of timber in and propping it up, I've just built a little bit of a frame. So, when I drop it on, I've got a bit of play work and so I can set it perfectly to where I want it. Um, I'm just gonna put one there, one in the middle, one at the end, three, three, three frames. And then what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna build, come up here and I'll build my scarf joint up here and then we get everyone just to prop, um, prop it on. Um, and then once all that's on and I've got everything into place in the way I am, then I'm going to start trying to cut an army on my rafters so I can start pinning it all and holding it into place. Yeah, here we are in hail. Cranes here. All the precast arches are here. 
all the men are here. We're just trying to get them on. Fingers crossed, it'll go all right. And that's it. Going Wayne. Yeah, that's what we need to do, put the wedge there, I reckon. Yeah? The one thing, guys, you got to do when you uh, hire a crane for an operation is obviously get the most of your money. So uh, we've got some bags of sand for inside the property and see where the crane's here. We're going to take a break from the arches and uh, yeah, get these drops inside. Saves a lot shoveling them all off. Summary of uh, our crane experience, how did it all go? Yeah, it went well, the crane, uh, all the arches fitting nice and perfect, bullseye, uh, looking really good now, we're going to get that sort of built in next week, get it built over, get it all, all uh, nice and tightly built in. But yeah, not really pleased with today, gone very well, very well. And what's the, uh, what's the immediate action plan now? Uh, get these arches built in. Um, like a precast lintel so there's like a bit of a brick slip on the front where the spring is going so that'll build it all in nice and tight so it sort of holds it all um, and then we're just building over and then and it's just the apex is on well it takes a lot of response dinner time actually. bro dinner, dinner time, time. now no, the stressful bit's over yeah now it's all plain sailing next stressful thing is we're all lifting that ridge onto there but uh, <laughs> I wasn't ready for it to be craned on we've got Tony back we've we got, got Tony, Tony the tiger back We've got to point out his high corners. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep that camera rolling. Uh, I'm not really going to say it up because obviously the owner of the house is right behind me. But... I've already told him it's him. <laughs> <laughs>
So, fridge beans made up now. We're going to get it onto these two props and I'm going to put a prop in the middle centre just to steady the weight. And then um, we're going to start cutting up some, cutting up a few spars and setting a few templates out so the brickies can patch in too. And then we're just going to start in filling. Chug is that tape there, Cal. And then we'll chuck it off them as well. Cody Pets, Tony, is it going to be the same? Uh, no. <laughs> so we'll be on 3 3 6 4. You're saying 20 mil. <laughs> 3 3 6 4. <laughs> Take your face for his <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, let him double check it. Go on. Three, three, six, four. Get the other side. Smudge. Smudge. Where, where are you going? Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Bang on. 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 Yeah, well done, Wayne. Well done, Ollie. Every spar for me worked perfect. Don't have to go around and cut each no. spar individually. Like, but hey, Ollie, don't sink the screws, just keep them out. Yeah, so yeah, you can yeah, get to them. Yeah. Mate, what's it with it? Come on, Mr. Perfect, and it's perfect. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh. So we had a mad busy, I won't even say day today, it was a mad busy week over on this side. We've got everything up to all play. It's started on the roof now. I should see it's been a bit, uh, there's a lot of detail on this all going on on this roof. We've got the concrete is now just finishing off concrete all the floor and the slab downstairs, which has reinforced meshing. The brickies have been working hard getting the bullseyes in, all the arches and getting them all patched and filled in, all pointed and pointed. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a good, good, good tidy off, um, good clean up. So when we come back on Monday, the side's nice and clean and we're good to go. I'll see you on Monday. To where it's supposed to go? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, 
Monday and we're cracking on with this roof now. Um, we've got pretty much worked out my template, got a lot of my spars cut up. We're gonna start um, getting them all fixed and uh, into position to support the ridge. Started setting out Velox here. I've got one Velox that I've started setting out over there. We've got another Velox that I'm gonna set out over this, um, over this stairwell opening it shortly. Uh, then we're gonna move we're gonna move around to the other side. We're gonna, we've got a little dorm going in on the far right corner. And then we're gonna start looking at towards middle of the week, getting this ridge in, and then um, two valley rafters, and then we're gonna get all the compound mitres done for that side. on 50 degree pitch which the architect headed down to 50 degrees um, it's going to look absolutely amazing too when we get it when we get it built uh, as it gives it that nice how could you describe like a bit of a church old traditional feel into the to the roof it's going to be open eaves all the way through we're going to have a um, hold on um, conservation velocities going in here conservation velocities going in there i need to take so just a spa for that the, the, the dorm is going to be a fully leaded dorm, a um, full leaded roof, so that's going to look quite nice. So everything on this roof is going to look very traditional, it's going to have slate on it, uh, open eaves, I can just, uh, so everything is really going to when this when this is fully complete, this roof is going to look, look basically the bollocks. <laughs> Us done today. Uh, it's been a proper hot one today, but we've done all right today. Um, we pretty much got one side full, full in, fully in. We got a cut, um, quite a few spars done on the other side. So I'm just going to spin the camera around, show you everything we've got up to so far. Um, let me spin the camera around. So as you can see, we've got all this side in. The three Velux is set out. I just need to infill in between the Veloxes and I think there's one spar missing but we ran out of the um, um, 4.8 6x2s so we're just waiting for them to come in the morning all the ends are cut up nice and neat because these are going to be open eaves uh, filled out the, the, the spars here and we got all the back pinned so there's going to be uh, a ridge that goes across here two, uh, two valley rafters either side that we're going to set, start setting out tomorrow and then on the back section there there's going to be a dormer so we've not done too bad today on day one so tomorrow we're going to crack on getting a lot of this roof done so i'll see you all tomorrow You ain't fake lifting now. That was real lifting. No fake lifting now, was there? I've got to get it up in there, fix it in there. And if you two can hold it here, I'll come over here and fix it. Just setting out this second part of the roof now, which is we're just putting it installing the ridge. Uh, uh, this ridge is sat uh, about 500 mil lower. Yeah, just short of five, just under 500 mil lower, and that is so we uh, um, keep the 50 degree pitch all the way around, so the roof looks nice and the set basically the same. Uh, also, it's because that room is a narrower room than this. It's got a 50 degree pitch. You have to set the other ridge lower. And then also we've got two valley rafters that come off at each side of this here, which will tie in with that corner, in, into each corner. 
and uh, I've also got two angle straps that go out of court, um, angle straps that go from this ridge, fix onto this ridge, which supports this ridge, but I'm also gonna bolt it here, and then sat on the block work over there. So that is us complete for today. Oops, let me just climb up over the scaffolding. So we've got pretty much um, about, say about 75% of the roof done so far. We're back here tomorrow to complete it. Um, we've got all one side completely filled. We just need to put the ladder on. It's got a decorative barge board, so we're gonna, we're gonna get them made. I've got one valley rafter in, uh, all the spars in place. Uh, I've got the dormer spars set out. We're ready to build the dormer off and um, I'm going to be here again tomorrow to, fi to finish everything off. The only thing I won't be getting done tomorrow is probably the, the decorative um, the decorative fascia board because I'm going to have to take them off either to be CNC'd or we'll, we'll, we'll make them off site somewhere else. Um, I'm just going to spin the camera around so I can show everyone what, where we got up to and uh, what, what's going on tomorrow. So as you can see now, all this side's finished. The lads have started bolting everything, hangering every, uh, all, the, all the doubles up. Um, we're going to put some collars in at the top, um, which is going to be the same height as the bottom of the ridge here. Um, as you can see, it looks all right. Um, we need to, I'm just going to alter this velox because where it's shown on the drawing, I don't really like it. Um, there's a dormer that's going central here to where I'm studying, where this middle spire is, I'd say. So I'm going to bring this velox window slightly over. So this window works central to that window, which I think will look nicer on the bedroom. As you can see, we'll go around here. This is where the dormer's gonna get built tomorrow. Nice little open dormer. Uh, it's gonna be a window dormer, so where you can like walk out and just stand in it. We're gonna, gonna, we're gonna put a window seat in so that would look all nice. As you see, valley rafters in place. Ridge beam, we've started just filling in here. There is another Velox going in somewhere around here because this is going to be a bathroom um, and yeah we are pretty much going to be filling in all this side tomorrow and then i'm going to try and get this this old dormer built while chris runs around putting collars in so you're going to pack everything up now have a good tidy up and we'll be back here tomorrow morning um, i'm going to set the time lapse up for the back dormer and the back valley to do a bit of time lapsing on that because i didn't get much of that today because i've been uh, it's been, um, been a bit of a grueler today, and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. And what we've got here now is uh, I've just fitted me two double rafters and we're going to be making a small dormer opening. So that is it, this roof is pretty much complete. Well, all we have left to do on this roof is we've got some decorative barge boards that need to be done in the in redwood, which we've got on order. As soon as they arrive to site, we're gonna start making them. 
we've just me and Chris are just going around now putting all the collars in bolting everything together and then we've just got the dormer to start looking at getting the OSB on and for getting it getting it felt and battened to make it start looking watertight but everything else is pretty much complete So guys, if you enjoyed the video this week, it was a longer formatted video because a lot of people were asking for it. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I will catch you all next week with another video. See you later. Bosh.